What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Today, we're going to be doing a review of the prototype for the one-third scale Venom by PCS Collectibles. This is a humongous piece, man. I am so intimidated by this. We're going to do our best to do a review. Uh, before we get started, though, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more early looks at statues like this. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Hit the like button if you enjoy it, and leave a comment down below. What's funny about this piece is that we were fortunate enough to go to Sideshow Con New York where this was first revealed. The thing is, we were there for two days and it was revealed on the day after we left. So we didn't get to see this guy in hand. We're actually on the way home and I'm like looking at pictures like, dang, I wish I could have saw that Venom. But man, huge shout out to Ant from PCS who uh, was nice enough to send the prototype our way so that we can do uh, a review of this guy and, and so that you guys could see him uh, in scale because man this is the, one of those pieces that pictures don't show its presence man it looks great in pictures it looks big but man I figure with me sitting next to it you can really get the idea of how monstrous this guy is so let's go ahead and jump into this uh, first of all you might be asking you know where is this Venom from what version of Venom is this and this is from the Marvel Strike Force online game it's the uh, the mobile app which is a turn-based RPG style game this came out in 2018, and this is the inspiration for this look of Venom. He's very much top-heavy, he uses his symbiote tendrils as attacks, he's known for having his tongue sticking way out, and uh, we also have an alternate portrait that will show with his mouth closed. But that's the inspiration for this character, but I gotta tell you, if you're just a fan of Venom in general and you want a humongous one-third scale piece, I think it's okay to go with this because Venom is depicted in many different forms depending on the artist who's drawing him. Sometimes he has a more bodybuilder type look if you're drawn by like Todd McFarlane or Mark Bagley. Sometimes you have a monstrous look like, like you have in Dark Origin or even in Marvel Strike Force. So I think uh, it's a really cool way to get the license for this humongous character. So trying to review this guy, let's go ahead and start with the base. He has a very sleek symbiote base. It's got a different paint texture than the rest of the statue. And I like how it flows and moves. It really gives you that illusion uh, of a living creature that he's being propelled off of. I like the shine. I like the sculpt details and almost the wave. And it really ties into the tendrils coming off of his arms. Uh, in his leg. Now we couldn't show the assembly of this because the prototype may differ from the actual production piece. They might, it might have different places where it keys in and also like I said it's a prototype so there's some things that might not be ready or may not be production quality. So uh, moving up to Venom, monstrous beast of a character. He's on one leg which is so crazy because he's huge but uh, it works man. He's on one leg and right away you can see how much detail is put into his calf. You can see muscle tendons uh, on his leg. You can see kind of a living symbiote texture going on around his calf. You can see the veins that are embedded and you can see the sharp black nails that he has on his feet. I think the black nails really look good on this statue. I'm not typically a fan of Venom with toenails, but when they're painted black like this and it kind of blends in with the base and the symbiote tendrils, I think it looks great. And man, I just really like how they did that kind of symbiote texture that goes through uh, his thigh around to his back. It adds a different level because you see these muscle tendons, you see the veins, and then you see this third dynamic with the living symbiote that's living on him. <sighs> Guys, his back and his arm span is crazy, man. It is so wide. We're going to get some measurements uh, that are not on the site, right? Because Sideshow site will show the total height and the total width and depth. But let's look at like arm to arm. Let's look at Venom without the base really quick and we'll see how uh, tall and wide he is. So just from his arm to arm, it's about 40 inches as well, which is almost as tall as his total height, right? Because his total height, based on the website specs, is 39 inches, yeah? His right hand is about 39 inches. Let's look at his, uh, let's look at Venom himself. You're looking at about 36 inches from toe to hand of just Venom. The back is insane. I love how they did the uh, the Venom logo that wraps around his sides to his chest. I think that's one of my nitpicks on a lot of Venom statues that they don't get it right. You know, and I think this one 
looks awesome because it looks clean, but it also looks alive. It has that kind of like mother of pearl white in it. It still has his muscle details in, in the emblem and, and it has the black symbiote raised up in between its legs. I think they nailed it. I love the white on that. His hand is huge, as you can see. It's pretty much the size of my hand. Huge hand for a one-third scale piece. See his chest area, his collarbone, the, the, the muscles stretching out on his neck look awesome. The veins look insane. And then we got to get to the portraits. Love the portrait. The row of teeth look killer. That tongue sticking out has so much detail. I like that deep red color. It's perfect. Uh, and then the symbiote eyes that match the emblem with that same type of white pearl type of paint job looks great. Let's switch out really quick and see what he looks like with his closed mouth portrait. I really like the closed mouth portrait on this. It has a very like animated type of look to it. The way that his teeth kind of just form into this grin. I love the color on the teeth, that bone color that kind of fades from white to brown around the gums. It gives him a lot of personality with that closed mouth, like he's sneering at you. He almost has like a dinosaur, velociraptor type look to him. The details in the hands are great. You have that square white patch where his organic webbing comes out of. They made sure to put a little kind of circle uh, in the middle of the square. You can see his veins there. They did a great job on the knuckles of the fingers and the claws on his hands. Crazy to have this one-third scale piece that's so dynamic. You know, typically with one-third scales, it's like a museum pose. But this guy is lunging at you. He's a huge character in himself. And he's just busting out of this symbiote base. So guys, like I said, this is by PCS Collectibles. They are distributed through Sideshow. So this piece is available for pre-order right now. It's $1,750. It's scheduled to drop uh, mid-year next year. I think it said between March and April. So the turnaround time is looking pretty quick here on this one. Make sure that if uh, you don't want to miss out on the first and maybe only one-third scale licensed Venom piece, head on over to Sideshow and pre-order this guy. If you're a Venom fan, you're going to be blown away. This guy has so much presence, so much detail packed into him. Looks awesome. Let me hear what you guys think about Venom in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers and we have giveaways going on every 2,500 subscribers. Notification bell will let you know anytime we release new content or when we go live. So hit that like button and check out my other statue unboxing and reviews right here. Thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.